this is Julie with ReadySitStamp.com and Sarah from Live, Love & Scrap and I are doing a birthday themed called It's a Hoot and it's with Sarah and Julie, that's me. And so it's anyway, it's going to be a different video each day for I think four days and then the fifth day we're going to have something really fun and exciting to share with you guys. So for today I decided to do an invitation. So what I've done is I've used my silhouette, and you guys could easily do this on the Cricut as well, because it's going to be an owl. And so what? And so that's part of it too, when it says it's a hoot, it has to do with an owl theme. So let's get started here. This is going to be very small, and I didn't realize it was going to cut out this small. So, but since I cut out everything already, I just left it as such. I would definitely blow this up bigger than this. This ends up only being about three and a half inches in height and only two and a half, a little more than two and a half inches in width. So definitely blow this up to be bigger if it was me. So, but I'm just giving you guys kind of, kind of an idea here. So the background I cut out is in pink. That'll be the one layer that goes on top here. And it didn't make an actual card. I welded these two together. So I welded two of these little guys together side by side so that it would open up. Um, what's that called? I always get them mixed up. That would be uh, horizontally. It opens up horizontally. So there's that first layer. Before I add the second layer, I have these tiny, tiny little feet to put on. These are the little feet. So what I'm going to do, and this layer just goes like an egg right in the center and the little ears don't have anything that goes over them. So what I'm going to do is just add this down here like this, this ATG tape. And then I'm also going to add another layer down here for the feet. This isn't coming off. There we go. So that when I add my feet, I'll just make them down this way. And I'm going to kind of sandwich it with the layer that goes on top so that these stay put. Or you could weld it together too. So that's another option. But since this is a little sandwich, I decided just to do it this way and thought this would look cute like this. That's so cute. Okay, so there's the top part of there. And now what you do, this has about, mm, let's see, I think this has four different layers for the eyes. But rather than four layers, I just cut out one. And I'm going to add the googly eyes. And that saves me a lot of steps. Especially if you're mass producing these for a birthday invitation, you can really save yourself some time that way by doing it like that. And before I forget, I'm going to add my little nose on. When I did an owl, the last time I did an owl card, I forgot his little nose. So this time I'm prepared. I'm going to put the nose on now so I just don't forget about it. So I'll add the tiny little nose here. Too cute. And now it's got a little cupcake. And the bottom layer of the cupcake, it's got brown on it, but it didn't come with a, a layer that you cut out, so it's just all see-through. But I personally like that you can see the brown through it, so I just decided to uh, glue that down on a craft piece of cardstock. And then I went ahead and just cut, fussy cut it, it cut it, it. <laughs> fussy cut it so that it would have a backing on it, so it wouldn't just be all white. I wanted to have the brown show through on there. So here's my little cupcake. Too cute. And now I'm going to put the little arms on. And let's see. The arms are going to be holding the cupcake. So they kind of go over the cupcake a bit like that. And if you wanted to run the arms through your little embossing folder, that would be a cute idea as well. I didn't do that on mine. I just thought it looks cute like this. And actually, I just thought of it as I'm putting this card together. So there's that. Now, what I've done for the inside is this layer here. So the stripe layer here, I copied that stripe layer. And then you can put it inside here. But I had to trim this edge for it to close properly. Because otherwise, it's not going to close properly. And just to make it even, I'm going to trim this edge. I did this all up on my silhouette and type the words on and cut it out on it. And I think it turned out really cute, but I am gonna just trim off a little bit on here just to make it kind of even so that each side is 
cut off a bit. And I think it would look better like that personally. So that way I've got some cut off on either side. I just think it looks better like that myself. Makes it a little more even. So let's go ahead and actually I'm not going to glue that in there. Normally you would, because I am making an invitation, so normally you would glue this in. But I'm just going to show you guys how that would lie in there. The reason why I'm not going to glue is because I really this is all fake information and stuff and I, I'd like to use this card to be able to give to someone so I'm just gonna kinda show you this but of course I'm gonna take this out so I can send this card to somebody but I just wanted to show you how you could do an invitation so there's that and now last but not least what I'm going to do as well is put the little googly eyes on there so let me grab those okay so I've got some little girl googlies and put that one right there and add another little girl googly on there. Oops, it's kind of moving around a little bit. Okay, there's that. And I think one last thing is I do want a little flower in her hair. So let me grab a flower. I like that little flower. So we'll add the little flower off to the side there. So let me get a little glue dot. Okay, so now we'll just add this off to the corner here and little flower and this would be an adorable birthday invitation like I said I would make this a little bit bigger because I think it's really tiny so make it a little bit bigger and I think it's really cute though especially with a little cupcake so it really shows that it is a birthday card and then this normally you would adhere in here of course but I'm not going to so that I can use it for something else but isn't that too cute so there's my finished uh, in, I said card but there's my finished invitation and stay tuned for lots of other fun from Sarah and I. Have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.